This is the Gen 2 Tabletop Kit V2. A more robust design for 3D printable organization that you can place anywhere. Let me give you a brief history of why I think this is an important update. The Gen 2 system started as an under the table solution, but I had so many requests for years to make some kind of tabletop version. This worked, but it was kind of a pain to assemble. Fast forward to 2024, I came up with the Gen 2 Quick Lock system, which made it a lot easier to assemble. It worked great at stacking drawers, but it struggled when it came to the structure when you were trying to put drawers side by side. So the purpose behind the version 2 is to solve all those problems. To build one, let's start with one of my Gen 2 drawers I have under my workbench. This is a single slim drawer in standard length. The tabletop kit consists of two main parts, covers and foot rails. In version 2, the foot rail is divided into an upper foot rail and a lower foot rail. Foot rails give you more structure, more height off the table, and the option to add feet for more traction. Grabbing the lower foot rail, we're going to install the feet by just sliding them into these grooves and snapping them in place. Slide them in pointy end first. You can either 3D print the feet with TPU or you can purchase rubber feet and install those. Now we'll install an M3 nut into the front slot on the drawer case. Use an M3 by 8 or longer screw to pull the nut into place. Now let's assemble the foot rails to the drawer case. Simply slide the lower and upper foot rail together. Slide the assembled foot rail onto the drawer case. We'll hold everything together with one M3 by 12 screw. Next, we'll install the cover. It'll lock in place using the Gen 2 quick lock system, so you don't have to use any hardware. You just want to make sure on your drawer case that you have the Gen 2 quick locks installed. And now we can slide the drawer in place. So this kit works great as it currently is, but one thing to note, there are no drawer stoppers, so the drawer will pull out easily. But to add that, we just have to add another part, and that is the lower drawer cover. This adds more structure and slots for adding the drawer stoppers. We also have to add an M3 nut to the back of the lower cover. We'll pull that in place using an M3 by 8 screw just like earlier. Next we want to combine the lower cover and the upper cover. Just slide them together and we will lock them in place using an M3 by 6 screw. Then just simply slide it onto the drawer case and insert the drawer. You can then install more drawers at any time without any tools using the quick locks. But what if we want to add more drawers 
horizontally. Well, that's where this V2 kit really shines. Let's make a three drawer wide tabletop unit. Here I'm laying out the lower and upper foot rail parts to a single and double drawer unit. This is the same idea as before, but we're gonna swap the upper foot rails around. The idea behind assembling these staggered like this is kind of like laying bricks. You'll get more structure that'll hold them together. This creates a surprisingly sturdy structure that's larger than most printers can even print. Next, we'll do the exact same thing for the upper and lower covers. And we'll lock all those in place using an M3 by six screw. Next, we'll slide the drawer cases onto the foot rail. Securing them in place using an M3 by 12 screw. Then we'll just slide the cover on. Fun fact, I have a lot of Gen 2 drawers. My favorite thing about this whole project is that you can move things around so fast. Whether it's for your work area, your dining room, your office, computer desk. I'm very excited about this release because this opens up so much potential for what can be done with the system. Seeing what people were able to do with the original version, I can only imagine what they'll be able to do with this version. Are you interested in the Gen 2 system, but you don't know where to start? Check out Girari3D.com. I created a website where I can host my tutorials, videos, and make it significantly easier to find my 3D models from all of your favorite websites. This has been an ongoing project since 2019, and if you'd like to support projects like this and similar ones, Please consider joining my clubs where you'll get access to exclusive models such as decorative Gen 2 faceplates and prototypes. In the description I'll include links to models you can purchase and affiliate links to products I like to use to make these models.